Hi, this is Luke with Couch Rule Brewing. Today, we're going to do a deck deck on. A deck I call Simic Counters. This is a deck you can really count on. And it's also a deck that you don't want to bring to the table unless you have piles and piles of dice. Like more dice than you've ever logically ever thought you were going to use in a magic game. Every creature in this deck, short of one, has ways to put counters on itself. All right, let's get to the creature package. Got a four of Cloudfin Raptor. Don't let this zero one fool you. This is probably the biggest threat in the whole deck. An unchecked Cloudfin Raptor on turn one can just get completely out of control and take over a game. Four, Servant of the Scales. A one drop that can come down on turn two. Buff your uh, Cloudfin Raptor, maybe even two of them if you go Raptor, Raptor, Servant. And when it dies, it has the extra advantage of moving all the counters off from it onto something else. He comes in with a 1 1 counter. Two of Exali Diviner. 0 3, which is, uh, which is great to help push the evolve mechanic. The big toughness, even if it does, even if you hit the land when you play it, it's still going to buff, buff your Raptor, so that's always nice. Four of Scrounging Bandars. Uh, they come in with two one one counters on them, and you can move counters around off from them onto other creatures during your upkeep. Two of Phantom Tigers, they're great for chump blocking because they don't actually take any damage. Can get in as a three two. Sometimes have trample with some of the with one of the other cards in the deck. Good blocker. Two of Tishana's Wayfinder, standard staple in the Mirror Folk deck. Sometimes a three mana three three, which is pretty sweet. Draws you a card sometimes. Card selection off the top of the deck is pretty useful when you're digging for lands and stuff like that. Three of Red Claw Troll. Uh, it is a three mana 2-2 two -two with Persist, and it does wither damage. So like in fact, the newer mechanic, it uh, instead of dealing damage to creatures, does it in mag negative one, negative one counters. Three of Vigen Hydropoon, he is a 5-5 five, five for 3 mana, but can't attack or block. Raft is uh, an old build ability from original Ravnica that whenever another creature enters the battlefield, I can put a 1-1 one, one counter on it and take a 1-1 one, one counter off from this. He's mostly in here to be a good turn 3 play to make sure the Crowdfin Raptors get buffed, and then everything else that comes down later gets bigger. Can also almost go infinite with the Red Claws because when they persist and come back into the battlefield, the 1 1 counter, putting the 1 1 counter on a persist creature when they come back into the battlefield will remove the negative 1 negative 1 counter, allowing you to block again and again and again. Also useful in a sack with a, with a sack outlet, you can get a ton of value off from it, but for the most part, it's just a almost impossible to kill block or a beat stick that's going to shrink down your opponent's creatures. Free of Crown Ceratok. It is a 4-3 with trample and each creature with a 1-1 counter on it also gains trample. It's the only creature that can't put counters on itself or doesn't have any other form of recursion but being able to drop it down and make your raptors into flying tramplers or your phantom tigers into almost unkillable tramplers are pretty useful ability and finally main deck a one of ivy elemental used to be a rare got downshifted to common in iconic masters late game drop it as six six seven seven trampler with a crown ceratok on the uh field get some great value being there's no artifacts and enchantments in this deck we're going to move straight on to instants and sorceries i got a two of main deck dive down another standard card Target creature gets plus O plus three, so it's good for good in combat to be able to save a creature that you don't necessarily want to die. And hexproof, making it to where you can save a creature from a doom blade. Versatile card for one blue mana. Probably better ones out there, but I'm trying to keep this as budget friendly as possible. Four of mutants prey. Uh, this deck likes to throw a lot of one one counters around. And having an one green mana instant speed prey upon 
in this deck seems pretty good and it's super cheap because it doesn't go really in any other deck and finally with a density of 28 creatures lead the stampede is a very powerful draw card engine it's usually hitting two to three creatures not as good as in your elf decks but a good value for three mana in green nonetheless it at worst it's a divination that got you let you look at five cards sometimes you'll hit magical christmas land and draw four or five cards off from it but the most time you're hitting about two and a half per activation let's get on to the land package got two of evolving wilds six forest four islands next mostly green so the leaning a little bit heavier into the forest four thornwood falls gave me some life dual land two of tranquil thicket and lonely Th sandbar Deck really doesn't need to get above five or six mana. Sure, I got the one elementals in there to be able to buff up and get huge, but for the most part, I don't necessarily need to get above six. And the two Simic Growth Chambers to be able to get a couple extra land drops without taking up spots in my deck. Moving on to the sideboard. Got another dive down for removal heavy matchups. A couple of Vapor Snags to be useful versus um, Gurmag Anglers and stuff that I won't be able to punch through right away. A couple of Cossack Caterpillars. It's a creature, so it's hittable off from Lead the Stampede, but I can use it to be able to get rid of pe a pesky Pestilence or other artifacts or enchantments that are giving me problems. Two Mana League. I'm not as heavy on blue, so I didn't want to run the hard counter spells. Mana League's as good as we're going to get. Hopefully i be able to counter stuff early. And a one of negate to try to slow down like a burn matchup, etc. True of I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this card. Croconara Crocodile Frog, anyways. It's a one three with reach and evolve, so it's another good creature to put one one counters on itself and the reach mostly bringing in versus fairies be able to uh slow down fairy miscreant beats another phantom tiger for when i do when i'm playing against a creature attacky uh, another creature aggro matchup that's looking to turn stuff sideways two of pulse marasa be able to buy a creature back out of the yard gain some life try to stabilize one of Undergrowth Scavenger. This guy is pretty ridiculous when you can actually have it build up. Bring him in versus Mill, and it could be absolutely hilarious. Or typically you're going to bring him in versus removal heavy matchups and hopefully have your small creatures eat up all the removal spells and then drop him as a 6 6 7 7 for 4 mana, which is pretty good. I got him down as a 13 13 a few times against the mill deck that was absolutely hilarious and another ivy elemental to help on deck games that are going to go long just to try to help close them out now this deck it's not it's it's super budget you can pick up the cards for like under 12 dollars two ticks on magic online if you want to give this a try it's not expensive at all it's not flashy it's just a weird simic deck something to have a laugh on Dump all your dice on the table and use as many of them as possible without having to use, play a bunch of Planeswalkers. There's a link in the description for if you want to just download the deck and give it a try. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitter at GeekLukeG. This is Couch Troll Brewing.